It's time for our daily devotion, daily daily of abiding in Jesus Christ. In the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. A daily devotional ministry project of Christo Gojino Gaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily 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 abiding in Jesus Christ. June 30th, 2020. Second Corinthians 7 verses 1 to 4. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Receive us, we have wronged no man, we have corrupted no man, we have defrauded no man. I speak not this to condemn you, for I have said before, that yet are in our hearts to die and live with you. Great is my boldness of speech toward you, great is my glorying of you, I am filled with comfort, I am exceeding joyful in all our tribulation. Quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy Notwithstanding these inspired declarations, how many professed Christians are enfeebling their powers in the pursuit of gain or the worship of fashion, how many are debasing their godlike manhood by gluttony, by wine drinking, by forbidden pleasure. Great Controversy, page 474. Those who do love God with all the heart will desire to give Him the best service of their life, and they will be constantly seeking to bring every power of their being into harmony with the laws that will promote their ability to do His will. They will not, by the indulgence of appetite or passion, enfeeble or defile the offering which they present to their Heavenly Father. Peter says, Abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul, 1 Peter 2 verse 11. Every sinful gratification tends to benumb the faculties and deaden the mental and spiritual perceptions, and the word or the spirit of God can make but a feeble impression upon the heart. Paul writes to the Corinthians, Let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God, 2 Corinthians 7 verse 1. And with the fruits of the Spirit love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness he classes temperance, Galatians 5 verse 22 and 23. Notwithstanding these inspired declarations, how many professed Christians are enfeebling their powers in the pursuit of gain or the worship of fashion, how many are debasing their godlike manhood by gluttony, by wine drinking, by forbidden pleasure? And the church, instead of rebuking, too often encourages the evil by appealing to appetite, to desire for gain or love of pleasure, to replenish her treasury, which love for Christ is too feeble to supply. Were Jesus to enter the churches of today and behold the feasting and unholy traffic there conducted in the name of religion, would he not drive out those desecrators, as he banished the money changers from the temple? By Ellen White, Great Controversy, pages 473 to 474. Our Father in heaven, with bowed heads and bended knees, we humbly approach your sacred presence with awe and reverence because you are our Creator and our loving Father. Thank you for creating us in your image, unfortunately, we sinned, because of your love, you sent your our prayer for today. Only begotten Son, Jesus Christ to come to this earth and became one with us and finally died the eternal death in order to save us from eternally lost us. Today, we pray that the prayer of Jesus Christ that you send the Holy Spirit to give us power to overcome sin. 
Thank you for answering our prayer because we ask in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen.